this episode of Chow Files, we are going to be cooking with somebody very special to me, actually. <laughs> okay, so the first time I met this person, she sent me a DM on Instagram and sent me a bowl of soup. Well, food is the way to my heart. And since then, she has never left. On today's episode, welcome, Ify. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me on the program. <laughs> so please, if you introduce yourself. Hey, hi, my name is Ifi Mogeku of Ifi's Kitchen. I'm sure many of you already know Ifi's Kitchen on Instagram. And um, I'm a lawyer by day, and I I like to call myself just a cook. I don't want any fancy name, chef, or anything. <laughs> I love to cook simple homemade meals just to show people. I, I like to show people how it's done, and. Um, I also run an online cookery class where I teach people how to cook. So I guess that's just it. Okay, so Ify, tell us like what was the motive? Why why culinary? Why because you know you're a lawyer, so they expect you to spend all your time in court. So why why divide the time between the court and the kitchen? Oh well, um I'll say the courtroom or um the legal part of my yes, life yes. is what I do, it's my work. Well, you see, cooking is my passion. I enjoy it. And um, how did I come about if it's kitchen on Instagram? Yeah. I'm like, okay, since I like to cook, and people are always calling me to ask me how do I cook this, yeah. how do I do that? And then I figured that if my friends are having this challenge, then a lot of people out there are having the same challenge, right? Yeah. And then I decided to put out easy meals that you can easily cook, you can get the ingredients everywhere. Yeah. So, and then, um, you know, just switch it up in the kitchen, do yeah. something different, yeah. something exciting. And that was how um, I came about in this kitchen and put my passion. So, I so um, if you are not already following Ify on Instagram, her handle is ify's that i f y s dot kitchen. Ify has one of the best <laughs> Instagram profiles when it comes to food, especially Nigerian food, and I like the way she she sort of spices it up. I think for Ify, okay, she's here, but <laughs> I learned how to make bitter leaf soup, open salad, and a couple of other stuff. She has, for me, one of the best Instagram um, handles on Instagram. If you're looking for someone that can teach you how to cook. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> Coming from you because you're a foodie yourself. Yes, I, I am. Like I, I even watch um, Lota, the, the show you have on YouTube, Lota yeah. Take. I watch everything. You're thank fantastic. You. Fantastic cook yourself. I enjoy watching your videos too. Thank you. So what are we doing today? Um, today, mm. should I tell you who we need to surprise me? Surprise. Okay, great. So let's get right here too. I'll show you. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys. Let's go. Okay, so what exactly are we doing? But I know, I know you're very tired. <laughs> I know from the ingredients, you can already tell, but for the benefits of our audience, I'm going to tell you what they're making. Okay. They are making these two Okay. Right. okay. Simple, yeah? Yes. 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 Okay, so we have the lizards here. We have plantain. Um, oh, wow. So many with rice. So that's why I have the rice here. These are actually the map at this time. Okay, we have rice, onions, tomatoes, peppers. Two types of peppers. So okay. we have chili. And um, cayenne pepper, no natural water. Oh, wait, 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 this is actually cayenne pepper? Yes. Ah, yes. we go on a <laughs> And then garlic and ginger. Okay. They're optional. Some people don't like garlic or ginger. I love garlic and ginger. I love garlic and ginger. If I can put it in everything, I will. I'm telling you, I love them. So they're optional if you don't like it. Okay. Do without them, but your fruits will come out. Beautiful. And then I'm using uh, bell peppers as you can see I have three different colours okay. here. Um, not for any reason in particular, I just like to see the different colours. Oh, like a pop of colours. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. It adds beautiful pop of colours and then the bell peppers come with their own flavour too. Yeah. So they make the dish really, really nice. I mean, I use bell peppers. And then we have vegetable oil here. We're going to fry the plantain. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then we have our seasoning cubes here. We have tomatoes, we have sugar, everything, onions, and then plantain. Aha! So some of you are probably wondering why um, I have this kind of plantain, yes. why it's ripe plantain. Yes. As you can see, the plantain here is ripe. Mm -hmm. It's still firm but ripe. Well, right. That is the uh, texture you want to have when you're making these okay. right? It should be soft enough, but not to soft. And you don't want it 
so firm. Yes. Because the plantain has to soak in the stew. Right. Has to uh, cook and everything so delicious. Uh, 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 So there are no rules. You can put more or as little onions as you want here. Or no onions. Then I will use some garlic and ginger. Some people find it really difficult to peel on um, garlic because of the skin. So what I do is just take this flat part of my knife, put it right here and go like this. And see, it comes up very easily. I'm telling you, very easily. I'm just going to pop it as finely as I can and into the pot with some, some salt. Okay, so we have all our seasonings and spices in here, so I'm just going to stir it to, to coat everything nicely. So while the gizzard is cooking, the next step we're going to do is to blend the peppers and we're just get them ready. So we're going to fry the peppers, cut the gizzard, pack it, it has a yummy. Let's all get it. <laughs> Wow, oh, gizzard takes quite some time to get tender. Okay. So how do we know when it's um, cooked? It will get soft. Right okay. now it's not okay. there. So I'm going to leave it. Okay, so before we cut the plantain, one thing I like to do, I like to wash my plantain. Oh, okay. Well. Okay, that's interesting. Now, for this dojo, this is how you want to cut. You want to dice it. Oh, okay. Not don't cut really around no. or oh, okay. Okay. So you can dice it. Then cut it off into this. Just dice it, not too big, not too small. Yeah. So you can see the texture of the plantain is right. Yes, but it's still strong. strong. Yes. Yeah, it's not overly. Really... Some people, you see, everything. I, I think cooking is all about preference. Right. Really. Yes, it is. It is. This is always like the star in every. If you have this at a party, trust me, everybody wants to have some of this. Oh, this really? yes. oh yeah. I'm noting that. <laughs> They want to add it to their jollof rice, their white rice. It goes with everything. It's perfect. Oh, so you need like the sauce. Ah, what a oh, You are good. <laughs> it's time to fry the plantain now. I have my pan on the fire. I'm just going to add some of the vegetable oil to fry the plantain. And then there's another thing that I call it a controversy. What's that? To add salt to your plantain or not? In my kitchen. There is no controversy about that one. Okay. Salt all the way. I love it in the kitchen. <laughs> Salt all the way. Salt every time. I mean, it's, it's just uh, every part of your dish has to have its own flavor. Exactly. You know, have to taste no, I keep saying so, that. Like, Salt all the way. I, but you see, if you don't like salt in your plantain, it's your that dish. That is fine, it's your dish, but here in this kitchen, we add salt. We add, thank you, Luca. <laughs> <laughs> we add salt all the way. <laughs> so after that, it all gets hot, we're going to put the plantain okay. in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, so look at this has been cooking for about 40 minutes now. Yeah, 
the water in here yeah. has dried yes, a bit. Yes, it has. Yeah. It has. So it allows the geyser to soak more of the flavor. Okay. You know, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to turn off the heat and then dice the geyser right. and then we're one step closer, closer to eating. <laughs> it's important we cut it to like the size of the plantain. Oh, okay, okay. I'm also going to fry it in the same oil. Yeah, that was the, yeah. Okay. And that's the same oil we're going to use to fry the oil, the um, tomato. Yeah. Okay. We don't want any flavor to escape. Yeah, we fry the plantain, so the flavor of the plantain is going to fry the ginger. Every day, we're, we're not wasting anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to help me turn on the gas, please? Yeah. So, okay. the gas is going to be turned on. Okay. 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 Um, now the oil is hot enough, we're just going to put the geyser in the oil. Okay, so look at this what I'm talking about, right? It's just nicely fried. I haven't yes, fried it too so dry, dry. Yeah. yes. Yeah. So it's just a consistent. It's still very nice. soft for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you see, when you boil your pepper mix, it's mm -hmm. just to let the water evaporate. But if you go directly, you start frying. Yeah. You see, all it's going to do is that just going to take more time to okay. fry. Okay. The water will eventually will have to first evaporate and then start frying. Yeah. So it's just going to take more time. So just see this go, and then I'll do some cleaning up. Okay. See what I was saying? Mm -hmm. And we see that the yeah, it has dried up. Now. The yes. water has dried up. So now the frying process has started. Yes. And see the oil is cooking very nicely. So I'm going to season it at this point. I'm going to add some curry powder. Okay, so I'll just keep cooking. It's not yet fully done. Once it's done, we'll continue. In the meantime, we're going to cut the peppers right now. Yeah. 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 Yes, this is, this is it. So right now, I'm, I'm going to add the cooked um, geezer in. Let's stir this nicely. Put it nicely. Let the geezer soak in the stew. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reduce the heat a bit. Okay. Cover this. Okay. And let the pizza soak in some of that sauce. Okay. Some of that beautiful sauce. So this has been cooking for a while now. Okay. You can see we, we put it on low heat. Yeah. So that the pizza can absorb to that extra. Yeah. So it's now time to put it in. So the there. on low heat and then we're ready. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your latte. And 
Thank you for being so amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Bye.